It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some mid-season NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Looking at Sacramento, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Suns. You know, guys, you hate to get embarrassed on your home court, but that's exactly what happened. It was a tough loss for them. And that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Yeah, and quick, like, like as quick as possible. That was a dismal showing, especially for them at the offensive end. Oh, many noteworthy second-generation starters in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position. But DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Stolen by Smart. It's deflected. Fox with a steal. Up the floor. Here's Murray. Finished off the break. You got to keep the ball moving, and that time, Herder's pass leads to an open look. Here's Morant. Driving in. And finished off by Morant. I mean, he's just making the deal look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. Now, here's Fox. Saw him with 29 points last game. Four on the shot clock. And it's Fox with the jam. When the game starts to slow down for younger players, you know they're starting to feel confident about how they go about their business. Fox with a good decision there. He's been a one-man wrecking crew. Oh, oh, Athleticism wow. on that thing. Terrific steal. Smart doesn't take a lot of chances, but knows when to pick his spot. Stolen by Smart. And the worst one lands on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. I want to be for what this means. Number two. Xavier. Here's Fox. Well, we're well into the season now. Brent, our teams have been very popular in terms of rank at this point. There's always a few surprises, but those elite teams, they've done what we expected them to do, and that's rise to the top. It only gets harder to imagine that these teams would slip out of that position. Well, Morant's acrobatics often get the attention, but his passing is also a lead. Murray for three. That one's off. He's now one for two. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. A great gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy chip on their shoulder. They love to compete. Now oh, here's Murray. He's been a factor in their offense on most games with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. I saw a lot of this from Murray as he worked his way into the league. He's going to show up now. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. The King's getting the buck. Tillman. And he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Now, here's Sabonis. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Oh. Great 
124 left to play here in the first. Tillman's shot is off. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. And just Shakespearean there, a smart read. Saw the defense was collapsing inside, so he wisely pulled up from the outside and drilled it. Very smart. Jensen puts the move on. And Jackson throws it down home. And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive class. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. Now, here's Fox. Back to Barnes. Pass to Herder. Morant with the steal. And when Morant it in. The level of engagement Morant provides really on both ends. That play demonstrates how special this kid can be. And the kick out to Fox. Fox it loose. Six to shoot. Here's Smart. Score the basket. Nice shot, but missing his first attempt. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside, Fox. Murray outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Up in time. And so it's Memphis with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a... And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. And I don't know if everybody's getting in this block party flow, but that's what's happening tonight. They've done a great job of being aggressive on all the shooters. Here's Morant. A kick out to Bain. Back to Morant. Screen, screen, screen. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. Hey, he's been terrific. He's oh! in that championship pedigree from Golden State. Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. Morant, left side. Pass to Jackson. Chen shot and the layup is up and in. Jackson's got the lead up to 10 now for the Grizzlies. And how about the strength of Jackson there? He uses it whenever he's going up inside and fighting through the contact. Now the officials have called the Olympics for the right there. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. And the Grizzlies leading by 10. Pass to Jackson. It's hauled in by the Kings. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Grizzlies. And we saw how competitive and entertaining the season series was between these two terrific teams last year. Yeah, people who saw this game got their money's worth, and it was fitting that they split the season series, given the enormous talent level on both sides. Out to Morant. Outside, Bain. And another miss by Memphis. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Trailing by 10. There's Sabonis. Easy move. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. 
That's a bonus, just taking that hit and finding a way to finish. Sacramento shooting their first free throw of the night. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, suddenly taking the next step. Can be that leap? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try a new thing. Master Sabonis. Alex Wilds in the corner. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it takes an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Smart misses. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Talk about guys, Brent, who can fill those gaps out on the floor. And how about Trey Lyles? Trey just getting more and more comfortable at carving out that reliable role player. Not only is this guy smart, he's also fearless to throw himself into the game. Changing hands to big he's rewarded with the high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets ruined like that, you got to look out. Screen by Sabonis. 